this case. Nothing special about the case, it's just a durable case. But you don't need a special case for these, do you? Right. So, stainless steel is a very thick gauge for, um, for um, one of these type of fireboxes. But, you know, that means it's probably just got no chance of warping at all. Uh, four simple pieces, slot them together like that. The last piece can be a little bit fiddly, but it's not too bad. There we go. For your drawer, it's quite easy. Yeah. Slot in the back. Aim for that. And once you get that in the slot, it's a little bit fiddly again, but once it's in, the notches hold the door in, uh, hold the flap in place. And I do like that feature because you can just balance your logs, uh, well, your sticks on there. If you want, you can have a little pot on there. I um, thought I could put my little uh, metal um, coffee pot on here, you know? I like the idea of that. Then for the top, if you want to get a cook on it, simple slot in to each other like most do. I haven't got my kettle at hand, but as you can see, very stable. I ain't going anywhere. Unit. Right, so far, I'll say I really like the stove. It's really robust. It's not too fiddly to put together. I think it's gonna last. I don't think it's gonna do any warping at all. At first I was thinking, oh, there's, there's not enough air holes, but the way it's curved on the bottom and it's got the air holes there, I think it has. As long as you don't let the, the bottom get clogged up with sticks and ash and stuff, I think it's going to be all right. But we're going to cook on this tonight. Get my chili and rice on the go and see how it goes. But I do like it. It's weighty. Loving cooking with this stove. Really sturdy, really robust. You see, it's been going now for 20 minutes or so, half hour. No warp, nothing.
after a, I had it going for probably a good hour. Uh, minimal, minimal warpage on the side and still held this color really well. So all in all, great stove. Link below, oh, go buy yourselves one.